Hello guys, welcome to the crypto. My name is Arthur and you already know what you do on this channel. Always find ways to make money with Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin and everything related to cryptocurrency. In this video, I've got an honorable guest and his name is Dylan and he's going to tell us more about copy trading, about CoinW and amazing stuff that's going on on CoinW. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. How's it guys? Thanks so much for having me. Uh, I do appreciate uh, Heavy Crypto for inviting me uh, to explain uh, copy trading. And I will go through that just now. And then obviously I will speak about uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum just to see where it's going within the next couple of days. But yeah, so on CoinW, um, if you open the app on the web browser, you can actually, you can see here, there's a couple tabs at the top here. So if you click um, over here, you can see it says copy trading. So we have futures, we have futures and spot copy trading. Okay, so futures is for uh, leverage, and then spot is for um, actually holding the, the assets. So for futures, that's where um, you'll make mo most of your money. And then you can see over here, these are the top copy traders. Um, over here, uh, Dylan dot ten, and you can see that it says I have two hundred thirty three followers, which means that two hundred thirty three people are copying my trades. Okay, so if you want to copy what exactly what I'm doing, um, you can click over here. Uh, you can click copy right over there, and then it will take you to the page. And guys, the reason why I brought him here is because of his PNL. I mean, you already know that I'm a trader, but then I don't trade every day. That's why I brought him here so that you guys can be able to copy his trade and you can check out his PNL. You can see that this guy is consistent and this is the reason why I'm having him here on Heavy Crypto. So he's going to tell us pretty much about um, copy trading and taking analysis. And of course, he does live streams every day. So you guys can also check out about live streaming as well. Yeah, so um, the nice thing about copy trading, it, it has all my data from uh, 13 months ago. So uh, you can actually track my data um, if you come to, so you have the overview route, it shows you my stats, statistics shows you the PL, and then trades over here, it shows you my order history. So these are the trades I actually took today. Um, my trading strategy is very simple. So basically, I just use support and resistance, um, and I trade on a smaller time frame. So um, you can see that I, I close at like 9%, 10%, 11%, 6%. Exactly. So like, I, I'm, yeah, I'm in and out. Mm. So um, you're pretty much scalping, right? Yeah, scalping, exactly. So okay. I'm more of a scalper, which, um, so like I kind of also just trade for uh, the rebates as well, because a lot of people that copy me, um, they, they they obviously won like a good PL, but mm. um, you know, you get the daily you get the daily rebates at the end of the day. Yeah. Um so um that's kind of what I do. I do five to ten trades a day, uh, just for, for that. I mean um, yeah, so yeah. I mean I like what I see, bro, because I can see you pretty much have a lot of um winning trades right here and this is actually good because you are consistent and you know you have a lot of winning trades and that's what you want to see and you know yeah, we all want to see this, bro. So, do you do all yeah. this? Do you do all these live streams every day, or you have schedule? Yeah. So, um, I normally so I go I go live at twelve p.m. Dubai time every single day. Mm. Um, as like a depending like if let's just say there's a massive pump the night before, then I'll speak about that. But pretty much every single live stream at twelve p.m. to like one to two uh, uh, p.m. I will do live trading. Uh, and speak about the market markets and i do i do take like two to three trades every session mm. uh, depending on the volatility and all of that i mean yeah. that's really cool bro so are you in dubai right now or yes yes i have okay okay cool so let's say i don't know anything about copy trading and i'm new in this industry and i want to start copy trading how can i go about it yeah sure so we can go from the so when you from this page over here, um, you can see if you want to copy me, you just click on copy. Mm. And then at the top right, it says copy. Okay, so you want to click on the top right. Yeah, okay. So once, you, once you've clicked on copy, this is the page that you're going to get. Okay, so when you sign up to CoinW, you want to transfer your funds from the funding wallet to your futures wallet. Okay, mm. then once you've done that, 
Um, you can actually do the transfer here um, as well. Mm. So you can do the transfer with and copy trading. Um, and then you want to basically, you can allocate um, how much you want to copy uh, towards me. Mm. So the asset equity at copy trade, this is how much funds you want to put towards me. Okay. Um, right. And then, so let's just say you have a hundred dollars, then you can put in a hundred dollars over here. But the thing is this, this over here where it says, um, please enter the single copy trade amount. So this amount over here is what you should be. So let's just say you have a hundred, you should be, you should be doing like 10% of your hundred because a lot of people, a lot of people go into copy trading and they have a hundred dollars and then they, they put a hundred dollars per trade. So that's, that's the wrong mentality. Yeah. You should be uh, allocate 5% or 10% risk per trade. So yeah. So that's what I told people to do. And instead of putting their whole amount per trade, mm. they must put uh, a percentage like five or 10% of their amount. Okay. I um, mean, per trade. I like what you're doing because you're also providing support by, you know, doing technical analysis and stuff like that to all your followers. I mean, I like that idea. But then do you also tell, tell them how exactly they can do um, risk management and st stuff like that? Yes, yeah, we, we do classes as well um, every week uh, for risk management because I know that's uh, with trading risk management. If you understand risk management, mm. uh, you, you're already 80% there. Uh, you, your technical analysis doesn't even have to be that good. But if you understand risk management, you, you will be a good trader because if you just literally just stick to a 5% mm. rule base every single time, um, you know, you, you, can, you can lose 7 out of 10 trades and you'll still be profitable. So um, it's all about risk management, yeah. Okay, by the way, so guys, by the way, guys, the link to CoinW is going to be in the description below. But then let's say if someone wants to join today and they don't know what's going on in the market, can you pretty much explain to us or do a technical analysis on Bitcoin chart or any other coins that you're planning to take advantage of? Yeah, sure. Um, let's do it now. So Bitcoin. Um, this was my analysis yesterday. So basically, what I was telling the community, um, I'm, I was expecting price to to come up to this CME gap. So basically, what a CME gap is, um, every single Friday, right? The market, the futures market closes um, on most most um, markets, right? So on from Friday to Monday, there's going to be a gap in the market, right? Yeah. So the gap was from uh, this level, right, to um, this level here. So from 69,500 to 65,000, uh, around about that area, okay? So in previous starts, so what normally happens uh, from the, the Friday to the Monday is Bitcoin normally comes back up to the gap and fills, fills the gap, mm. and then we, we start to see price come down or price go up, respective of where the gap is, okay? Yeah. So um yeah so what i was expecting is price to come up to this gap it can still come up to this gap today there's still a lot of time left and then i want to what i want to see is i want to see price reject this gap and then we, we we see price come down but if price closes above this gap then we can actually look for long positions okay mm -hmm. so like right now um you can see the market on the one hour is currently in a downtrend right yeah. so we need to see price break above this previous high, which is 69,500. Uh, 69, and then I'll be like, okay, market's starting to flip bullish again. We can look for longs back up to like 73K. But right now, you know, Bitcoin's still currently in a range. So I can't really take trades on Bitcoin. Mm. Uh, we needed to either break out of the range below here or above the range above here. Um, so yeah, at the minute, Bitcoin's a little bit uh, range bound. We do need to wait uh, for New York session uh, to get a bit more uh, volatility, but still quite bearish. Um, you can see the, the market structure is quite bearish, yeah. So do you yeah. have any um, technical analysis on Ethereum and Solana? Because I've seen Solana been pumping mm. recently. So I don't know, what you, what's, your, what's your thought about Solana? Yeah, actually interesting. Um, I was looking at Solana today because it's already at like 200 or something. So I'll have a look here. Yeah, 207. So, Damn. basically, these are my levels for Solana, okay? So, what I was looking at, 
<coughs> let me just close this. Okay, so Solana is interesting because right now we literally, from all-time high, it's, you know, you're not far away. You're like 30% away from all-time high, which is crazy. Yeah. But you can see over here, this level at 198 to 204 Four. is a really, really... A really really strong uh, resistance right and, so we, and i think for solana and i think we tested that level right uh, around 204 usd yes exactly yeah so it's currently actually breaking above there right now like the daily candles looking really really strong mm. um you know if, if solana closes above this level like if it closes above 204 to 207 we could probably see solana at 234 um 234 to even autumn highs within this week to be honest with you so um so long yeah so um what positions are you willing are you willing to take or are you planning to take from today onwards mm. yeah so for solana i'm actually looking i'm gonna wait for solana uh if the daily candle closes exactly like this then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up a, a swing a long position um I, I do on my account, I do scalping, but I also do swing trading at, with lower leverage. Mm. Um, so like this, this is going to be, you know, a week play. It's not going to be a, a day play. So um, I'll wait for this daily candle to close. If it closes like this, then I'll take a long for Solana uh, back up to like two, 230 to 260. And then I'll just put my stop loss, um, you know, just below the, the daily low. Um, yeah, so the risk to reward is really good. One is to four. Yeah, it's really so, good. Um, it's, it's good setup um another setup i am looking at is yeah today in my live stream we caught like three trades uh, it was a shiba short a dogecoin short uh but those were a bit earlier um dogecoin what's dogecoin doing now let me just have a look yeah at the moment yeah this is the the trade it was a really short-term trade mm. like a two percent move but yeah if dogecoin um closes back above this level so we took the short back to this low and I was waiting for if price closes back above here, mm. this um, 0 0.14815 level, then I'll be looking at a, a potential long because you can see price is still bouncing from the support. Okay? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if price if price breaks above here, then uh, this could just be a fake out and then we could see price come up. Um, yeah, so... At the moment, kind of just waiting on the sideline. Um, I need to wait for New York session to um, to come out, so then we can see a bit more volume. I mean, this is good, bro. So, uh, do you have anything to say when it comes to leverage? I can actually, because what I tell people is, for me, leverage is based on my stop loss. Okay, so for example, like let's just go back to this Dogecoin trade, right? So. My stop loss was 0.16%. Okay. Yeah. So, in order in order to find out like how much you're gonna lose in this trade, you, you take that percentage given over there and you times it by your leverage. Okay. So if you say 0.61 times 20, mm. then you'll get 12 uh, 12%. Right. So I I can I can afford to use 20x on this trade because it's only minus 12%. Right. Whereas my gain would be um, 30%. So it's one is to two your risk to reward. So I use my leverage is literally just based on my stop loss. If I have a 10% stop loss, I'm only going to use like a 2x leverage yeah, right? yeah. because um, it's too it's too wide, right? So if yeah, the lower the lower my stop loss, the higher the leverage because it's it just makes sense, yeah. So you're pretty much saying that um, they must trade with the amount that they are willing to lose or amount that they are willing to put into the market, right? yeah exactly okay sounds good bro so guys here you have it this is yeah. dylan from coin w and he's a master trader um at coin w so make sure you use my link in the description below and copy his trades because you've seen that he's a really successful trader and he, i like his pnl but at the end of this video me too i'm gonna you know have to copy his trades and i'll watch how my account is performing and stuff like that but this is it my name is Arthur, guys therefore i'll see another video don't forget to subscribe and leave a like button for youtube algorithm you're helping the channel as you can see we are growing and we're gonna hit 20k as soon as possible so and guys if you want to follow dylan i'm gonna leave his channel in the description below it's called crypto monkey so make sure you watch his take analysis and if you really want to take this trading game to another level make sure you follow up all the technical analysis 
and i promise you guys you're gonna be a successful trader by the end of this video so thank you for watching therefore i'll see another video guys love and peace cheers